you ever hear about the Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0? No, I thought not. It's not exactly a story that large grooming companies would tell you. It's a grooming legend. Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 is the male groomer's biggest bundle, so powerful and so discounted, you could become a professional below the belt groomer overnight. You'll gain such a knowledge of male grooming, you'll even be able to keep the delicate areas you care about from grooming accidents. You could actually prevent shaving accidents. Landscape Lawnmower 4.0 is a pathway to many grooming abilities some consider to be unnatural about the rest of my body. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer and weed whacker, ear and nose trimmer can make you so well groomed the only thing that grooming companies were afraid of was the rest of the Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 bundle, which of course included the Ultra Premium Body Wash, 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner, Ultra Premium Deodorant, Crop Preserver, Anti-Chafing Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Spray Toner, Anti-Chafing Boxes, and of course an amazing shed travel bag to hold onto your Manscaped goods. What happened to the other grooming companies? Unfortunately, the Manscaped Platinum Package 4.0 was too good of a bundle for any man to refuse. Some men still chose to use other products because they don't believe such grooming products could exist. It's ironic. They could see other manscapers perfect their grooming skills, but not themselves. Is it possible to learn more about this bundle? Ever since I've known you, you've been looking for a grooming routine of significance of perfection. You're the Manscaped Master. Only through me can you receive 20% off and free shipping using the code FRED at manscaped.com. Use the code below and you will save your balls from certain stress. is in this film or not but if he is 
then I would like to have had Loki there as well, that would have been pretty good. And uh, add him to the collection, just for the sake that you might as well <laughs> include him in there, because that'd be cool. But the ship is very flat looking, but that's not going to be an issue for us. But the shorts, like the Viking shorts on there, look so awesome. The minifigures look awesome. The dragon on the front looks awesome. I think, you know, with the ASMR, when, when you do the Lego builds, I assume that's why you're here. You get something a little bit different with the ASMR when it comes to doing the Lego builds and doing a build like this everything about the shape of it the symmetry i don't know why i think it's just gonna set me off and i'm gonna be in that zone immediately this looks like a very fun build in my eyes <laughs> though i'm already kind of tripping in this costume a little bit so i need my normal clothes uh, so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to <laughs> last that long but yeah this is sort of x-wing size if we're going to compare it to any of the other sets we've got
Yeah, there's quite a lot of stickers on there as well, but I think it's kind of integral for a set like this, you know, because there's a lot of individual non-Lego stuff uh, which you've seen in previous sets, so yeah, it warrants the load of stickers. Still can't get my head around this uh, little conundrum we've got here. That makes uh, not too much sense to me, but yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Freddy, you've been off more than you could do, but let's begin. I think that's the goat in there, so we'll just say uh, goodbye to that goat. There you go. So I think, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the last Lego ASMR Marvel video that I did, and probably the only Marvel one that I've done so far. I think that had thought in there. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I could be completely wrong on this, um, but I'm pretty sure that was Thor in there. Uh, there was a Thor in there, but then again, maybe it was one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. I can't remember. I should know, but I can't remember. So we're going to have Thor. Probably not lightning eyes, just a normal looking Thor. And hopefully his hammer's in here as well. Come on, has he actually not got a hammer? <laughs> no, I cannot believe this. Surely he's got a special hammer in there. Okay, all right, so you make it, it's Stormbreaker, of course. And Stormbreaker, of course, is going to be in the bag, which I probably threw away. Let's bring it back. And give it up for the goat. So we got the Thor's hammer there, the Stormbreaker. I kind of like the the design on this one. It's pretty good, and the axe on there. I like that. <laughs> Very impressive. And then the back end of the axe. You know, in my Thor role play where I got the, I think it was full size, but it was massive. Uh, Thor's hammer, Stormbreaker. Pretty awesome prop. And now Thor is complete there so I think the whole is looking pretty awesome now some of you may argue Fred that made a minifigure of you for, for those comments I salute you for uh, for making them probably before I did before I said it but uh, yeah I've the only thing I, I don't know I think it's just a bit is what I see the resemblance but you never see yourself in people so it's always been one of life's greatest mysteries for me, but yeah, looks pretty awesome. Actually looks pretty sick. <laughs> okay, so let's do Gore. Gore is a zombie thing by the looks of it. Um, so he's the god destroyer and played by Batman, which is pretty awesome, Christian Bell. So that's pretty cool. And he looks like he's He's more sort of jokey, like a jokey villain, which would be pretty awesome. In the, I think that's the first sword I've had in a very, very long time. Yeah, it looks great. So you know that piece is sort of battling out, and yeah, there we go, done. And is Jane Foster in here? No. So we don't have to worry about the coat. So let's tingle our way away from this. There we go. Thank you so much. Ah, that's what this is for. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we are on bag number two. I like that this gets past cake. It's literally every time I see the bag within the bag. It's, I get it, Inception vibes, <laughs> every time. Okay, let's do a little bit of skipping here. Right, now we're building something good. The boat, and hopefully this boat bit, I mean, I saw there was a lot of fiddly detailing bits in there, but there are also a lot of great big bricks in there as well. So from an ASMR standpoint, brilliant, because I like the clinky, clicky sounds which these aren't making any at the moment. 
but from a building perspective, from a Lego fan, uh, yeah, that's perfect because you see it, see things happen straight away. And, uh, I don't know, someone with little patience, patience such as myself, it's good to see it come together quickly. But it's not as if I consider I'm going to do this all day as well, so there we go. Okay, so I think this will officially be my second Marvel set, Lego set, because you know I've been a little bit biased, biased, and I've stuck with. Yeah, that's it. Right. And then on top, I guess I've got to make something. So I've stuck with Star Wars Lego for an awfully long time. And uh, yeah, I think it's sometimes good to branch out. There's so many cool sets out there as so well. Like looking through the Lego store, I just look at it and think, yeah. I'd love that. I'd love that. The Jurassic Park ones look pretty awesome. All of the Harry Potter ones. I mean, I would have loved all those if I was a kid so much. And to have all of the um, big old Diagon Alley would have been incredible. So yeah, that's something I'll be uh, very interested in getting as well. So we've got number two stick on here somewhere. Okay, so it's the sort of Celtic sticker. Let's see if I can do it. Probably not. Wow. I think that was spot on. Well done for it. Surprised even myself. Okay. So this goes on the end like so. And we've got to do some larger pieces following down there and there. Yeah, so your favorite Lego sets at the moment. Let me know if there's any that you think that I should, you know, check out. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, let me know. I currently am in the works of creating a room, a room full of certain particular items, and it's, uh, it's a, it's gonna take some time to do, but the end result is gonna look freaking awesome, I hope. And it gives me ample opportunity to actually store my Legos and all the creations which we've got and all the sets. And if I did that, then I'd probably get custom pieces to like transparent Lego pieces to actually display like the ships and things, which would just be so awesome get some decent lighting on there as well, which would also look freaking awesome. So that's something which is cool to know that these sets aren't just being gently placed in boxes and wrapped up nicely so they don't fall apart and they can actually come out and I can look at them and enjoy them. Not play with them, mind you. No, 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 no. Now, Fred. Good. I was getting worried there. I thought I made a big mistake, but we needed to add on more pieces there. Good, good, good. This is what I like about this one, is that it's quite repetitive. So you're mirroring what's already on one side. This is, are we counting this as, do you count this? Would you count this as a boat? An official boat, because, you know, I've always wanted to get a Lego an actual Lego ship and I think this kind of counts. There's a lot of mock builds which I've seen of the Lego ships and they're so cool and I really want to do a big pirate ship. I would get great satisfaction <laughs> from building a Lego pirate ship. I think I'd have a great time doing that. Okay, let's put you on there. There we go. Like I always say with Lego ASMR builds, this is, especially this one so far, I've entered the zone, but you know the zone, I talk about it every video, the relaxation zone you get when you build Lego, I don't know, with, like, I do watch other Lego channels, I'm very guilty of that, and, like, I feel like there's so much, this potential, because 
of Lego to me is just so let's turn that up a little bit so relaxing Lego feels like it sends you into another I don't know state of mind right I'm looking at two identical versions here just different different sides there yeah so it's very very easy to like completely zone out and I like other channels like really enthusiastic they're on about the builds and everything but I'm on about just the clicky sounds Lego pieces the satisfaction that's something which I've always got from Lego sets and now we can utilize it in ASMR formats with you know, hopefully good sounds <laughs> and, uh, yeah that's pretty awesome now Fred 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 concentrate there we go so I'm gonna keep looking back at the uh, other side okay so it's just exactly the same thing on there that will go on there make sure we've got that yeah that's just gonna be back that will go on top there we got these and it's weird like in context of all these just look like lightning thought lightning bolt type things there we go straight away awesome color looks really good and that's just the studs but yeah i love that color <laughs> okay and then you apparently just sit on sideways here yeah, so it goes next to those clips and you're upside down so we don't even see you just yet but we do at the back but yeah Awesome stuff is happening. <laughs> if we can only grab it. Right, so this goes on top of this section here. Yes, there we go. This goes at the top. And we are actually making the deck in already because uh, I feel like that's too soon. <laughs> but it's pretty awesome if we are. Okay, so maybe. It's not that one there, maybe it's this one that make a little bit more sense when they've read you but, um, Okay, and then we have the three there on top Looking pretty awesome And then we have detail, yeah One of the things which I would never begrudge LEGO for Is doing uh, the details, bits on there And all the things which started that look so good as it sheens in the light reflection um, yeah all the added details they had in this it's now so they look like they're more models and it's what I think everyone sort of my age <clears throat> and yeah you grew up with Lego from an early age and now you see things in what well, I personally like seeing things more in a more realistic fashion almost so those little touches of detailing here and there which is dashed around in lego sets i really appreciate god fred you sound like such a nerd sometimes <laughs> sometimes most of the time that's more like it okay so you go on the edge there is that a curve yeah okay and then we have a single piece on here You'll see something pretty spectacular in a minute. Well, <laughs> that's what I thought anyway. Okay. It's kind of strange. But that to me, maybe not now. I'm getting very, uh, M oh my god, Fred, come on, MMT. You know, droid, separatist droid tanks. You know the ones. <laughs> Right. 
I don't think that's right. Something which they haven't included in this one. It's that piece, you know, the mystery Lego piece, the orange bit, which I assumed that's for when you make a mistake and you want to get something off as quick as possible. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't see that in this set. Which is upsetting, really. The Lego don't seem to fully appreciate my talents at messing up because I always need it. Okay. Top and detail on the cube. That's looking good. And then we have detail on here as well. I'd just love to know how they end up building these. At what points do you think? Yeah, we'd like a bit of detail there and a bit of detail there. I don't know why I find that just like such a mystery. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. Whatever it is. Part of the crew. Part of the ship. Okay, so on top there we have... Don't mess this up, Fred. So that is diagonally across like so. As I said, don't mess it up, Fred. And then that goes on there. Perfect. And that zigzags across like that. There we go. Yeah. That's something which I've always loved and admired about Lego. Is them always... There's always something different. There's always something new. And it's kind of perfect. <laughs> like they've got all the franchises sorted and... It's so much fun. Okay, so that's I'm gonna say the stern end of the of the Viking longboat esque thing which we see. So we've got three of those on top of each other, so that's very easy. I love, I love, I love. Ah, fellow. There we go. Well done, Fred. Okay, that goes on the back. end up making that thing again but on the other side pretty easy okay but then again never say that Fred in these early hours you were very 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 prone to Lego mistakes happy Lego mistakes but not so happy when you can't find the mistakes but then you find it later on those are the mistakes that you don't want Fred and those other mistakes you've got to find out when you're editing <laughs> because the Lego videos are impossible to find any sort of mistake when you're trying to find the clipping uh, yeah okay so that will then go on top yeah and mimic that and that will look pretty awesome yes then that it will go on top and connect up there as well. So you just sort of go backwards and just see various things, which uh, I probably should go along chronologically, but still. Okay, on top, and then this on top. Yeah, but in terms of awesome sets, I mean this. When I'm in the Lego shop, I don't know if any of you have been to the big one in London, Leicester Square, that's that's pretty awesome. Um, but when I'm in my local Lego shop, then I can, well, it's anyone. I just look at them all and think, I just want to sit in store and build it. And the, I think the stores are amazing. I'd love to do a Lego ASMR video in there. That would be so cool. But um, whether Lego would uh, get it, <laughs> is another story but they've got such cool sort of vibes in there it's uh it's pretty nice wait a minute this is a different section okay but they've got so many awesome sets in there which just look so incredible the AT AT80 is the piece de resistance in there at the moment in my personal humble opinion <laughs> um, but like all their let me go there we go all their technical builds all 
the buildings and everything it just looks so cool and that's the thing you just want it all but then when it comes to storing it somewhere or displaying it somewhere like I certainly want a theme in place like a theme locked in place these are the big things which are happening here at the moment and voila that looks pretty awesome pretty solid don't think this is going to float though but I'd still like to think I'm a little bit optimistic then we have these snakes didn't even realize there were snakes they're pretty cool um, resistant as possible. Okay, so we've done it on the other side, put the thing on there. We're on number three, which means we get... Sorry goats, you just uh, move over a little bit there, but it means we get Padme, which is pretty cool. satisfying and uh, feels almost a little bit too too simple there why I feel like that's when mistakes you've got to watch out for that because the mistakes come and bite you 
sure they also that point. Okay. So the number two at the end ones, two of those. There we go. Don't know why, but this particular build seems like it's the softest like clicky build. It doesn't don't feel like I'm getting all the Lego clicks, it seems smooth and soft. Everything I say, I can. I have the art of being able to just uh, include Star Wars quotes in all sentences. For the astute among you. Okay. But yeah, I know that I touched on this earlier on, but all your favorite Lego sets at the moment, anything that you think that I should check out, try out, build, have a lot of fun making, or something you've had a lot of fun making, uh, let me know down below. Uh, I'd love to see all your favourites at the moment, and what LEGO is doing right for you. And if there's anything that you recommend that I should check out, because there are plenty, like there are loads. Um, but if I should branch away from Star Wars a little bit like a bit what we've done today I didn't even realize that that um, Last Thor video was I think it's over a million which is pretty cool really Over a million Lego fans which is awesome <laughs> That's what I'd like to see So yeah, any ideas suggestions then Pop it down, you know the drill, you know what to do. Right, you've gone on top there. Apparently I've built something. I'm confused. Fred, uh, oh no, because I haven't built it, that's why. Might help if you did build it, Fred. Okay. So I think there's going to be a bag, I have a feeling of large pieces, large satisfyingly big clicky pieces that's just been saved. That's what's going on here. Okay, there we go. And same again on the other side, there we go. Okay. And then on top, this just goes next to the ship there. a small little bit of detail yeah I probably uh, should have made sure all the pieces were pushed in properly because those seconds are gonna count when it comes to trying to make this float because this is gonna sink like a rock as most Lego ships of mine when I used to try and build them invariably did but it's nice to sort of keep up the tradition I suppose okay now we've got red bits at the end oh no we haven't because they've just fallen off the table that's pretty awesome red water but hopefully there's a spare in there so we'll just pretend that one didn't happen okay so you go in there and then on the back we have detail here but how far is actually a thing as well. We've got more stickers, but we can handle this. We aced the first ones of these grey, these grey ones, and let's keep up, keep up the momentum, and uh, have a little bit of positive attitude in here, just so we, uh, yeah, pretty good Fred, well done. And you can do it, you can do it. Round. No, well, sort of 
thereabouts. Okay, then that goes on the back. Yeah. So lovely that the planes have decided to join us from outside. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that as always. Really. It's very special. <laughs> okay, that goes on the top. That goes on there. which means we're definitely going to need that red piece here yeah. you got it and then you go on the bottom here yeah. apparently but we'll see okay so you go there and oh there you go that's more like it I was getting worried there perfectly clips in place right a small bit of detail sometimes it's a complete mystery to work out where they've actually put it okay there and the green one on top there okay that keeps on top looking pretty great right and then start on the other side there too so have that on the that on the on the bottom we have this on the top okay and then we have I swear the other side was more detailed hmm. not disconcerting whatsoever maybe we won't need the red bits that can't be it surely first mistake so what's that mistake I don't even know I think that was alright actually there was one no that wasn't a mistake that was just a tiny tiny small tiny error okay so this then goes on that and then that goes in place and perfect and that's looking great great and then there's a little bit of detail hmm so hopefully this is the bow of the ship because we've got a red and a green. Green is starboard, port is red, so port left, starboard, right. So if that's a little detail in there, then I'm very impressed. And that's it for that one. There's no connectivity there whatsoever, but yeah, you can uh, see it taking order. That's so cool. I didn't even realize. Is it Korg? The one that played by Tiger or is it he? He's hilarious. I didn't realize that he was going to be in this set as well. There's quite a lot of minifigures in this, actually. That's pretty awesome. I'm sure. Like, I've never really seen masses. Are you going to go on, though? This is the question maybe we'll put the wrong thing on there that is right so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have I done that right there it's just this head doesn't really go on let's just check mm -hmm. where well, was he uh, but yeah we don't really see masses of um, well I haven't seen like massive mock builds of Lego uh, Marvel stuff, but there could be a huge uh, mock building following for things like that. I think this is going to go over it, or something's got to be done with that because I can't be right. Okay, so your head should Cork, who I'm just going to say name is Cork because I feel like uh, it is, even though I'm probably wrong. But yeah, have I done something really stupid here, or is he meant to be? like big like that but you see what I mean uh, his head doesn't really go on it sort of just chills on there which I don't think that's right but may maybe it is maybe I'm wrong here I like 
I think I hopefully am because that, that makes no damn sense to me whatsoever <laughs> okay but yeah it's always the Star Wars uh, on the bottom what have we got there yeah it's always the Star Wars mocks which I see and there's just like huge battles that people created and then seen the Harry Potter ones where they've done Hogwarts and they look awesome like I've looked up a lot of the mocks to to see what I'd be interested in building uh, because a lot of them are like the TIE Fighter Lego video I did which is in my Lego playlist on my channel and that was a mock and I have it on display on my desk because I love it so much um, and that I think I would have wanted to do an interceptor as well uh, which would been pretty awesome but the mocks they're always quite realistic but there's Korg apparently that's right Hmm. I'll let you decide on that one because to me that is not right but yeah if there are Marvel mocks I'd be interested to see what they do what the massive battlefield against Thanos maybe or the Avengers ship I don't know I haven't really looked too much into it but I'm sure there's some probably pretty amazing ones that have come out ok so we've done that, done that, done that just put that on there, put that and done that Okay, now it's time for another bit of thread detail in here. My fat fingers, okay, let's do this. So we want number two, which, no, we want a number seven, okay. So we'll get every other sticker apart from that. Okay, that goes on the front there, so let's, uh, let's do this with exceptional amount of detailing okay pop you on there we're a little bit lopsided there but still <laughs> it's okay it's okay Fred you can be a uh, bad at something there right and then we have this detail here and then this front one which I haven't seen before goes on here this is giving me something Iron Man red colours ok then you go on top there then we have bits which I've never seen before like weird detailing parts ok and then you go on there one of the sets which I would love so much, but I think kind of scares me is the Y Wing. UC, is it UCR? I think so, could be wrong. Uh, said because the detailing parts on that, especially around the engine, are just insane. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. And me fiddling around with all that, that looks pretty awesome. So, this is going to be the bow, which is going to look great. Yeah, and filling around with this still more with all of those engine parts I think yeah it would it would drive me insane okay but still would be great at the same time so so these detailing bits would look pretty great if you ask me so we're going to be building I assume like it looks like a dragon's head at the front probably completely wrong on that but yeah we're just gonna say the dragon's head so we open this up that opens up there and that will sit on like that no it won't it will sit on like that that's better and then we have a piece to go across there and then we have a clip going down there. and then on top we have this piece here and then a small bit of detailing here no idea what this is going to make but I'm sure it's going to be spectacular nonetheless ok then you will go on the ok then you go down on the and whatever that 
is it, are these flames? Possibly, or lightning bolts, shall we say. That's probably more accurate there. So we turn this over, and then on the base we have a single bit on the end, and then this, yeah, so it is it's a dragon. It's gotta be a dragon. This goes on. Hmm, it's meant to go on. <laughs> on the top there. Yeah, that's a dragon. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. And then, yeah, the flame. That's cool. I like that. That's a really good design from LEGO. I'm very impressed with that. Okay, so it's going to be the same. Same thing again on the other side. Okay. Fred, where is it? Show me. Show me the path. It's not there, that's why. <laughs> okay. Top, and then we have this flower bed on the second. There, have a quick check, which I've forgotten anything, which I don't think I have, hopefully. Hopefully we've got all the pieces there, and then we're gonna attempt again, unfortunately, with another sticker. Assume losing Thor's head 
and uh, yeah, some of these pieces as well. So maybe it's a thing Lego does. I don't know. But I've got a box of just tiny pieces, which I've either missed, left out. I don't know. Okay. So you connect on the back here. You're meant to. But we have a dilemma here. That's right on there. So that should. Oh, it's because I haven't extended it. There we go. Starting to get a little bit worried there. But uh, yeah, simple fix. I love that. I think that's really cool. It does solidify my. thoughts of it not being able to float whatsoever because I really I mean look at it but yeah we uh, can hope we can dream that's pretty cool so it's a tour ship Asgard tours so is Asgard back I can't remember I thought Asgard was destroyed in Ragnarok steady Fred this is this is an important one. Ah, it's wrong. Okay, we we'll pop you on very, very, very gently. Just go with it. I think that's pretty awesome. I think that's good. Okay, and then this fits perfectly on here, which it does. Now it's looking really boat like. Okay. And then same again on the other side. I keep forgetting this bit. It's just one bit it wants you to put in there. There it is. I think it serves no purpose whatsoever, but for some reason it makes Lego very happy that it's there. So there we go. It's on there. It makes it a little bit more watertight. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it does. Maybe that's a solution. And those people like me will be trying to try to make it float. Okay. And then come on, Fred, you can do this. Yes. Yes, that is what we like. That's what we want. Don't forget about that bit, Fred. There we go. And that slot on there. I must say it's looking awesome. It was, I, I'd say this is from a Star Wars sense. Maybe this is like X-wing sort of caliber going on here, like the size-wise. Um, maybe the X-wing's a lot more expensive. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was actually, but um, size-wise, I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on here, which is a uh, pretty awesome. Okay. Let's uh, fit you on here, and you go on the back end here, and you double up there and there. Apparently, there should be. That's at the front, yeah. So there should be. Just uh, ignore what Fred is doing here. There certainly wasn't any missed out bits here at all. We just add those in. These are definitely what it's telling me to do. Okay, we just add those on there. Just because I th we think it looks nicer. There we go. So we just know that. Yeah. Okay. Looking good. Okay, and then two bits, three bits to add to the collection. Right. It's now telling us to finally add two pieces together. Oh. That girl isn't looking good. It's uh, very fragile. But uh, <laughs> both the stern and bow look so cool. That looks so awesome. I love that. This is a cool set. That's for sure. Awesome. Seems the bag number five seems to contain all the filly bits in that. I think there's a lot of detailing, so at least we're connecting up a little bit here, so that at least is bringing some strength to our 
longboat which isn't going to float. We're just going to say it's going to float for now. I've got to make a water tight. And you've got to put down the deck in. Got to make sure the hold is all secure. Just four in there like so. That's great. And then, yes, I am liking this design. Right. So, this is clever. I like this. And there are big bits on there as well. So that's pretty great. Okay, so in the middle goes that. And then we'll turn this the way off the thing so we avoid any complications. Then on the edge there, <laughs> it's uh, also just a little bit sad because that tells me that there's going to be no um, float ting happening there. Just this massive holes in there. <laughs> I seem to remember that I collected so many, like when I was younger for some reason, I remember seeing Titanic and I, I became obsessed with like, drawing Titanic for some reason and then I was drawing it and making it in Lego as well, trying to make boats in Lego and I made a two-tier ship and I would take it up to the bath and then try and make it float but every single time I'm seeing like the Titanic. <laughs> But speaking of a uh, Lego Titanic, then the Lego Titanic looks pretty damn amazing. Oh, Fred, this is looking quite exciting. No, it doesn't. I thought that was a uh, big water type on the sides. It does look like it could almost be, but on below there. Yeah. We're just going to say in the bilge, there's going to be water, which there always is on wooden boats, like in the bilge, there's always water there so that's a normal occurrence so there it might collect a little bit of water but it should, it should be fine it should float it would be great and uh and we'll have a floating ship this would be really nice if they actually designed it for the intention that it might actually float <laughs> nice and also uh, quite funny as well okay always do think if actors or actresses or however you like to call them if they actually buy their own merch that they feature in and can you imagine them just sitting there building their own stuff because I certainly would and I probably would have a great time doing that but then again I'm a bit of a nerd and uh, yeah <laughs> But it would be pretty funny, pretty good. Okay. I mean, I think Lego should uh, think about doing a special uh, ASMR set uh, featuring ASMR artists. And uh, yeah, that'd be pretty great. And a home set up or doing making a role play or something with all these clicky bits in mind. That would be pretty sick, if you ask me. Okay, and then the same again, so we need four of those, so if I wasn't living in my Lego imagination then I could have uh, had these out very quickly. Okay, so we want two of these, four of these, and so we want that, 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 let's just figure out the way that together. Okay, and then in the middle we want a little bit of detailing, which appears to be everywhere. Okay, so you go on like so, and then you fit on there with two in the middle, just about. That's so good. Like the form of this boat is like the skeleton of it at the moment is really really quite like they thought out, thought it out pretty well they've kept the structure of the boat which i appreciate okay right there we go so you will go on
of these gray bits here, then two more detailing bits here, one there, and another one. Should we find it? Of course, that would be pretty, pretty useful, if you ask me. And there you are. Gotcha. Okay, and then you fit on there, and then you lock that in place, so that is now all tight. That's now tight, looking good. If only they just filled in the gaps at the bottom there. That'd be a good reason, a good chance of that. You never know. You never know. <laughs> okay. I really think uh, not doing the goats was a good choice. I think they might have weighed this down just a little bit. So I think it's deck time now. Hmm. Holes are being filled in. Yes, it is. Okay, we pop you there. And I think this is the cabin part. Captain's cabin. I don't know. Whoever's cabin. But it looks pretty great. Right. We want on the back here. Okay. This is what we want. but I enjoy talking about it with you as we go along too much so it doesn't last too long I'm afraid I'm sorry but this is one of those parts where it's it's like a classic build where you'd build these sort of things when you're younger and that'd be very sort of limited basic maybe and uh, you just build the blocks and go up, and all of a sudden you've got a house. Voila. Okay, and that's on top there. That's looking good. Okay, so on the top here. So I think we've just made a shelf of some sort. One of the sets which I actually really did like, I've seen it quite a lot, and a lot of cafes as well, is the Friends set. I thought that was really awesome. And. Loud, and it was at the Lego set of the Friends set, <laughs> and I think it was just the calf um, central perk which I got, but I should have got the the studio as well of the apartment, Monica's apartment, and Joey's because that would have been awesome but too. I thought that was a really cool set. See, Lego does all the cool ones. All the cool things there they cover it so yeah that was that was pretty awesome and i did love that set and building that was a uh, really good fun even though there was a lot of fidgety bits but it was something which i really tackled in the asmr lego builds is doing sort of the home the home builds you know where you build a room and it's got a bit of a room in there and all that jazz okay so something is Happening here, I think that's gonna go in there. That's one. Okay. Yeah, so I like the sort of different elements doing um, the different builds that you'll find. How high is this meant to go? I'm just gonna keep going. Okay. And uh, yeah, so you do a bit of the shipbuilding. We're doing the boat today. We've done. But we've just done loads. In fact, I think when I put the playlist together, then I'll put the playlist link in the description as well. 
yet we've actually done quite a, quite a lot of lego smr builds that's pretty nice i like that they've got some really cool pieces in there which reflect well on the light it's very it's very full like just like that lightning thing that's awesome that jewel it's like a collectible thing i would love that if i was younger pop them in the treasure chest okay then we need the okay the map of asgard which i'm about to obliterate trying to put it on yeah i mean it's come on fred i mean one time please just try not to be wonky okay so what we've got we've got a flat bit there or a non-existent flat bit but let us just assume it is that color because i don't see any other color here we're just going to go with that okay and then the map goes on the sits on top here yeah. then hopefully there's going to be a part that we did get the right this that's good there's going to be a part left of that side up as well i don't even know if this has got a roof on it it's going to be pretty good if it does see i think that's one of the things about this build i, I haven't even seen the film yet i mean it only came out today in my country so <laughs> that's probably why um, but I have no idea what this ship really is, apart from now I know it might be a tour ship, um, boat. You briefly see it in the trailer, but yeah, it's kind of sort of new, which is nice because I have no idea what's what and uh, how I should be building it. Okay, so let's get this. Come on, we all know what that is. Nobody can fool us. We know what it contains. <laughs> They should just get that piece sacred uh, for that one item that we would love. Okay, so that goes in on the top there, just like tiny bits of detail. And then we make a tomato thing. I don't know what it is. Whatever that is, who knows? A drinks dispenser, we must assume. Um, but yeah. Fully get it out. Galley is what? North Woodhams. Okay. So we have a red bit. Okay, so two red bits of this same. It's the same thing again. On top. Bish bash bosh. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Then on the top. There. And again, there. and finally, these big gaping doors here, which I didn't pay any attention to until now, which I assume they might have actual doors on them, which would be pretty awesome. And if that's the case, that means at least one part might be watertight, we don't know. Okay, and then these fit in here. Yeah, so that's there's a roof on there which can hold it in i don't think so i think it's more of an open plan galley you know where you just sort of walk in you're kind of exposed to the elements yeah unfortunately i think that's the case yeah okay like all the tiny bits of the design even this bit here it's it looks thorish is that a is that a thing these bits here are a little bit disconcerting. Ah, right, no, that's fine. Okay, so there's a big snap action going on here. So finally, let's clear the space. This is important for our longboat on the back. Should fit so nicely. In. I want to push this down. 
as much as possible because like I said this is gonna in enable us seconds if that that it might float so if we can make it as watertight as possible that would be pretty great I'm slightly concerned with the big gaping holes in there but on the sides <laughs> but yeah okay so these we are meant to work out they go somewhere right yeah that's cool so we are securing the deck in in place that's good i'm happy with that making sure that everything's nice and snug looking and feeling pretty great and we're on to the next and final piece with a lot of these things so we've got another jewel here so i'm just gonna make for it one a little bit different pop it in there because it looks great okay in you go Okay, and finally, well, we need the blue cape. I should really know her name as well. She was pretty awesome in Ragnarok. But is it Valor? 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 Or she's one of the Valor. Which I'm probably saying that wrong as well. All I know is that I can hear the song in my head. You know the one. Okay, yeah. so we're not having sort of angry faces, we're just going to have uh, happy faces in all our companions today, and there we are, pretty cool, all their costumes look pretty great if you ask me, right, so we're going for what I would consider is the detailing part connecting the ship up and making it that's the word. That's the word we want. There is no word for it, it's just. Yeah. Hello. Hello, yeah. Something happening there. Interesting. It sort of teases you, it makes you think that you're actually a yeah, standard chance, but. <laughs> on the top. I love just these tiny bits of detail that you put on to make it look like a ship. They're so good. I have no idea what this bit is that we're making, so it looks pretty cool. New pieces I've never seen before. This weird detailing thing going on here. No, thank you. You go back on. Okay. One franchise which interests me greatly, uh, especially for Lego sets. I used to have quite a lot of Warhammer as well <laughs> when I was younger. Lego also do Lord of the Rings sets, so if any of you have actually picked up any of those ever, I think they're worth it, they're really cool and be good for the build, I'd be eager to know. 
I have looked at the mock Lego Helm's Deep and Minas Tirith, which would be a, a guilty pleasure, a guilty desire, <laughs> something I'd love to build. I think I just love models and things like that, anything in small form satisfies me greatly and uh, filmmaking using models is something which interests me interests me a lot and i feel like you can't sometimes the model making still has the edge over special effects it could be somewhat controversial <laughs> but um yeah i still feel like there's um, a lot of fun a lot of realism in models okay something's going on here looks a bit complicated let's uh try and do it this in the back that's not for you that goes on there i'm kind of sad i think because we're near, we're near the end of this build but thus far and i don't want to jinx it but thus far it's been a really really nice build i've really enjoyed doing this one and this set as well is just it's cool <laughs> it's uh if you're a fan marvel fan or a thor fan or all that jazz then yeah i think you're really gonna like this set okay that goes on there that goes on top and then this goes that's better and this goes on like so okay it's in there hopefully Yeah. And we've got to do the same for the outside. So hopefully I think we're gonna have to do all this again, yeah. Okay. But it's a it's a cool build. It's got nice features on it. I think it's pretty if we talk like we don't normally talk about the politics and things and if it's reasonably priced and all that, I think I know you've learned for actual Lego channels to do what we do is literally relax zone out fall to sleep if we can enjoy the lego build uh, together build it together so you know hang out as mates type thing and uh, and just zone out completely well that looks pretty awesome and i've just realized these are wings so now we're gonna have a very very top heavy <laughs> boat okay but i'm sure it's gonna be fine Hmm, possibly not, but yeah, so this is just looking like Thor's hammer. Oh, it's a roof. I see. A very, um, a roof with a lot of holes in it, shall we say. But uh, yeah, that's cool that it goes on like that. Yeah. But it's a chance to, like, search out and combine in cool things which is the lego and is more together like i like that fusion it's um it's pretty awesome so hopefully that's something which you enjoy so we don't normally talk about prices things like that but i think this one if we were today just to break tradition it's i'd say it's very reasonably priced like at the moment i think it was in the 40s um which i think is pretty good for what this set has to offer and I think it's going to look great and of course if it actually floats in that's a bonus <laughs> that's even cooler ok let's get you in there let's pop you in there you in there ok smooth. They are definitely my favorite bits. Very satisfying. Very fast. Very dangerous. Okay, and then we have the single pieces which fit in here. Nearly. We pop you back. Whoa, Fred. Steady now. Okay. 
is making up for clicky, lost clickies. Out of it as I do, and uh, 
but yeah, so this section, you will just take the shoes off independently and attempt to put stickers on. The problem is if, <laughs> I don't mean if, the problem is when this sinks, then yeah, these stickers aren't going to do so well in the water, I don't think. Could be wrong. Maybe that'd be alright. I seem to remember Lego stickers actually doing alright in the water. These are just terrible what I'm doing at the moment. I don't think any of them have gone on symmetrically. Yeah, but I'd like to think that it's going to be somewhat floatable. Otherwise we're going to have to be playing that violin song. Stormbreaker goes on the front. 
So I don't think we have to make another one. It's just Thor's one. But we're not gonna put Stormbreak at the front. <laughs> okay. And there we have it. Boom. Done. <laughs> so those goats look uh, yeah, pretty funny. But yeah, there's the set. Let's pop them on and uh, complete this look. So we want to make sure everything's nice and even. So Cork can sit at the back there. Let's say I thought I think we're sinking and uh, pump to abandon ship or something like right. There we go. I think I had that just on upside down. Wrong, please be just the wrong way. Upside down. Yes. How I made that mistake, I don't know. Okay, then. Padme can go in there. The fella woman can go here. Or she can steer it there. And then Gore. Who must attack when they're on this boat or something. Can go next to her. I don't know. We'll just pop you in there anyway. And maybe we'll pop you at the front just in case it sinks then. You go down first. So yeah. So we finally, so we have our good boat, and um, yeah, Thor's looking great. All the minifigures look pretty amazing, uh, but the coats, we're missing the coats, just because I want this to float. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I assume that it travels like through that portal that Thor would go through. And uh, I don't usually yawn. <laughs> Yes, we take just a little look around here. The dragon head looks so good. I love that at the front. It just looks like your typical Viking ship. And I'd love to actually just pop a mask on there and then one main sail there. And voila, you're good to go. And that can actually uh, be used as a ship. But my only concern here is like it's wide enough so. There might be a little bit of potential for it to stay afloat for a tiny second, but uh, yeah, depth wise, yeah, there's no hole. <laughs> Where's the keel? There is none. It's flat as a pancake, so yeah, we're, we're gonna see how this goes gets on, but I, I don't think it's gonna last, <laughs> even me putting it in. But I think the set anyway is really cool. This looks really awesome. And hopefully this can be a really awesome scene in the film. See, Fred, your clumsy hands, you've already... So yeah, ship looks great. But I really do think minifigures look incredibly awesome. Thor, in Lego form, looks great. And so does, like, yeah, Jane Foster, so does Padme. <laughs> and she looks really cool too. So... Let's do it, come on, let's do it. So we've got our Asgardian water. We have a goat boat. I think we're good to go. I'm ready to see if this thing floats. Like I said, I'm probably 0.1% uh, in favor of floating. It might float for like half a second, whilst it fills up down below, and then it's gonna go straight down to the depths. <laughs> No doubt, but we'd like to think it might float just a little bit. It's the fun experiment of this one. All oh, Lego boats, you have to see if it's going to float. I mean, if I'm wrong, <laughs> I'd love that so much. So, cue the music. Oh my goodness, it... <laughs> yeah. 
as expected. I mean, it didn't sink all the way. I thought this was uh, going to float just uh, perhaps maybe one more second more. Uh, but yeah, I think what we've got now is more uh, an Anasgardian submarine. <laughs> so, I don't think it even lost a second, to be honest. Oh, it looked like it could do it. That would have been so good. But yeah, overall, I think this has been a really great build from LEGO. I love it so much. I hope that you found many ASMR tingles in there. And uh, you're nice and relaxed and triggered, or you're fast asleep if you made it to as well. One of the things I love to do with the LEGO builds, and you probably never noticed, but every single LEGO build that I do, I always have a separate microphone setup. It's always different, so hopefully there's always going to be different sounds and different sort of tingle vibes coming from it. So yeah, hopefully this was <laughs> yet another good one for you. Uh, let me know all your comments for the build down below and uh, all your Lego suggestions. And it is a really cool build. I really like this set. I think if you actually forgot it uh, and you want it for building purposes, or ASMR purposes, then yeah, it's, uh, it's very true, relaxing and satisfying, in my humblest opinion, but yeah, <laughs> hope you enjoyed it, take care of yourself, cheerio, you're gonna float, let's do it, save yourself Thor, save yourself, there we go, you can leave coal down there.